Nearly everyone has heard the proverbial question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, the most literal answer to that question would be spirulina. Spirulina is actually the oldest living life form on Earth. It began to form and cover the Earth's surface over 3.5 billion years ago. It was the first photosynthetic life form, and it is actually one of the primary catalysts for the development of life as we know it. This single-celled organism is one of the most remarkable miracles of Mother Nature, containing everything needed for life to evolve. 3.5 billion years ago, all you could find in the Earth's atmosphere was carbon dioxide. But then, Mother Nature designed spirulina. Maybe it was a part of its grand plan, or maybe it was coincidence. But the introduction of this blue-green algae on Earth was the first step to life evolving on Earth. Once spirulina began appearing on Earth, it quickly began consuming the carbon dioxide and transformed it into oxygen slowly making an uninhabitable planet into the vibrant home we have today. Through photosynthetic reactions, spirulina also began to capture the energy of the sun within their watering environment. The cells then began to transform the energy into vital nutrients such as proteins, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. In fact, spirulina contains over 100 nutrients in great abundance, and the nutrients it produces were everything life needed to evolve and were the actual building blocks of life. How remarkable is that? This tiny single-celled organism is one of the primary catalysts for producing everything Earth needed to create and sustain life. Spirulina first began being used as a food source by indigenous tribes throughout the world and was known to be used by tribes as old as the Aztecs. Its first documented use came from a group of French scientists in the 1940s after observing indigenous tribes in Africa harvesting spirulina out of the lake and then turning it into patties to be eaten. Over the next subsequent 30 years, scientists and researchers began exploring the properties of spirulina as a food source, which then eventually caught the attention of the United Nations. The United Nations spent some years studying spirulina as a food source, and in 1974 at the World Food Conference, they named it the food of the future and found it to be an ideal solution to combat malnourishment throughout the world. They felt it was an ideal solution for malnourishment due to its vast and dense nutritional profile. They found that supplementing a small amount of spirulina into people's diets would provide people the vast array of vital nutrients necessary for adequate nourishment. The UN's research then prompted organizations such as NASA and the World Health Organization to begin studying spirulina. NASA studied spirulina for quite some years as a sustainable food source for astronauts on long voyages. Since then, NASA and the European Space Agency has now proposed the growth and use of spirulina as a food source for astronauts during these long space voyages. They found it can be easily grown and harvested by the astronauts and then consumed as food. NASA found it to be an ideal food source because it provided the astronauts the gamut of nutrients necessary for health and well-being. And the World Health Organization has begun to push spirulina and its production throughout the world, stating it is mankind's best health product of the 21st century. So what is it about spirulina that makes NASA and the UN so interested? The interest stems from its remarkable health benefits and nutritional profile. This tiny single-celled organism contains more nutrients than any other food on the planet. And the nutrients found in spirulina are easily digested and used by the body. Spirulina contains literally the whole gamut of essential nutrient. Its nutrient content ranges from essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, enzymes, essential minerals, colloidal minerals, 
phytonutrients, and even antioxidants. The vast array of dense nutrients enables spirulina to provide the ideal nourishment to the human body. It has been shown to heal and nourish nearly every major facet of the body. In the next video of the Spirulina 101 series, we will delve into some of the health benefits of spirulina. And then following that, we will dive into a video that covers spirulina's nutrient profile. So please stick around because we've only touched the surface of Mother Nature's miracle microalgae. This educational video was sponsored by Triquetra Health, home of organic spiruzan, an organic spirulina and its taxanthin supplement formulated with the highest quality spirulina in the world. Triquetra Health is offering a 50% off coupon for spiruzan when purchased through Amazon.com. Please check out the video description below for details on how to redeem your complimentary bottle. If you would like to learn more about organic spiruzan, please visit their site at www. .triquetrahealth.com. Please stay tuned for the next two installments of the Spirulina 101 series.